The Collingwood 18 in the 29 grand final was an impressive array of talent, led by Captain Sid Coventry, Vice Captain Harold Cheswas, Charlie Dibbs, George Clayden, Albert Lauder, passing in front of the camera, Jack Beveridge, Percy Bowyer, Len Murphy, Tubby Edmonds, who kicked five goals in this game, Bob Makem, Frank Murphy, Defender Westcott, Albert Collier, Harry Rumney, Bill Libus in the background, Gordon Coventry, Harry Collier, and Charlie Ahern. After Sid Coventry won the toss and kicked with the breeze, Collingwood, with three changes from its beaten semi-final side, never looked like losing. One of those changes was the addition of the rugged Charlie Ahern for just his third game of senior football. It also proved to be his last. Ahern injured his elbow during the game, it became infected, and he died just over a year later. The stray ball is gathered and cleared by number 17 for Collingwood, first rover Bill Libus. As the Tigers make another forward thrust, the ball falls to the back of the pack. The stab kick exponent is Billy Libus, who finished his career with Melbourne in 1935, but played as number one rover in Collingwood's grand final sides from 1926 to 1930, which included four premierships. Andrew also included the flick pass, which had been outlawed in the 1920s in his training film. The relevant law had been changed to force the ball to be struck with the hand, not necessarily a closed fist. While the flick pass was legal, Andrew considered it worth demonstrating. It gained prominence again in the late 1950s and 60s in teams coached by Len Smith and Ted Whitten. <laughs> 